Hi everyone, so I actually got a proper mic, so this might sound a little bit better than my usual audio. I hope everyone's doing really well. I mentioned recently that I've been applying for a job, but unfortunately I made it to the third interview and then they sent me some generic bullshit email saying that I didn't have the requirements. Did you not look at my resume at all? But that's okay, that's besides the point. Something that we have to learn to accept is rejection and rejection isn't necessarily a bad thing. We honestly don't know what the future holds and what the future has coming in store for us. We just have to take every day step by step and you know just kind of be more present hi everybody so clearly i am at aiden's and this week it's just going to be another toronto diaries it is a long weekend so i actually have three days off i don't have to go into work on monday which is amazing aiden and i are planning to go to this rib fest thing so we're going to eat some ribs also sorry if it's really loud Aiden's showering right now and I'm really excited because I usually don't actually like ribs I think it's just because I would never cook them because it takes too much effort and I don't really have the knowledge behind Smoking and cooking ribs and stuff like that. If someone's gonna make them for me I would gladly eat them because they taste really good You're literally naked <laughs> what um, the hell? It looks like it's gonna rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain Don't be mean. It's expensive. The one's cover is on you silly goose. Aiden's gonna get dressed and stop playing around with the camcorder. I got a case of bubbly for Aiden because he kept complaining about how he is so thirsty and how we live in Canada and we can't drink tap water and he's a bougie little bitch and only drinks sparkling water. For some reason, like I don't know why you pay for water when you can just have it for free. Nicole's birthday is tomorrow so we're gonna be going out for dinner or having pizza at her place and then going out for drinks and partying. And then I think tomorrow Aiden and I just wanna like go shopping and look around for like spring summer clothes. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And if you aren't new, you are still cool and I love you and appreciate you. Either way, I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as Aiden will twerk for you. Twerk! Yeah, we're gonna head out. Actually, I'll show you guys my outfit. So this top is from Garage from a little while ago. I found these pants in my mom's room. Pants like these are in. They're super baggy. Just wearing them super low rise. I usually wouldn't be so comfortable with this, but I've been working hard at the gym. So I feel a little bit more comfortable, but I will be eating ribs. The best part about these things is because they're bagging, just like fucking pull them right up. Oh, nice. No one would know a thing. No more fupa. Wow, you're trying to say I have one? No. I bet when you got my call, you were like, oh shit. Yeah. Dan was like, oh lord. You could probably fit in these. I know, I want them, I'm gonna steal them. Okay, Aiden's gonna try on my pants. Ooh. I feel like you're gonna rip them. Ooh. I think we're gonna head out now, and I'll bring you guys with me. I don't know if I'm gonna bring you guys on the camcorder or if I'm gonna bring you guys on this. everybody clearly back home now we decided to do a long walk back home everything was really good the only thing that kind of sucked was the second half rack of ribs that we got they were really delicious but we got shafted i don't know what the hell that was it literally looked like plop it sucked because we got like an end piece and it ended up being all like the cartilage and soft bone in it like there was no actual piece of rib and then we had those mini donuts and they're super fresh cinnamon sugar is the best one out of all of them but yeah now we're just at home chilling i don't know what else we're gonna do it was nice walking around and eating some ribs and just enjoying my time but i think i'm gonna end today's clip here because i don't think we're gonna be doing anything else i will see you guys tomorrow when we wake up and decide to go on our little walk Good morning, everybody. Did nothing last night. Aiden fell asleep at 11 because he got up at 5 a.m. to go golfing yesterday. And then I woke up this morning. This is my outfit. This is my mom gave me it. It's like lace. But the whole thing is see-through, so I had to wear had to wear a top underneath. And then I'm just wearing this black skirt from Brandy Melville. I'm gonna wear my black cowgirl boots down there. I don't ever do my hair like this, so I feel like I look kind of weird, but that's okay. We like it. It's 11 o'clock. We are gonna head out, probably grab a coffee, and we're gonna go shopping. That's the plan for now. I originally wanted to wear this tonight for Nicole's birthday, but now we're not going out for dinner, so I was like, oh, I don't wanna waste this outfit. So I think I'm gonna get some pictures in it. I don't know what that means, but okay. I'll bring you guys on the camcorder, just because I don't know. I feel like weird bringing this out.
everybody, it's Chris Paul. We did some shopping. My feet hurt really bad. I definitely want to show you guys what we ended up getting. Honestly, Aiden did more damage than I did. The first stop I went to was Abercrombie. I just decided to get some black biker shorts because the ones that I have from TNA are already very old. I probably got them like four years ago and decided to invest in another black pair. And I just got them in a small and they fit really well and the fabric feels really good. In the change room, I actually squatted just to make sure they weren't see-through and no one could see my butthole. I didn't want to like do deadlifts or anything and then my whole anus to be out for everyone to look at. This was not something that was planned. We stopped in H&M and I decided to get a little bikini. I saw this one and it's so cute. It's like florally and just like dainty. And then the bottoms are just a little bit more family friendly the perfect amount of coverage where it's okay and acceptable to have your ass cheeks out a little bit sometimes i don't want my whole butt showing in front of people the bottoms i got a size four the top i got a size six and then we stopped in old navy and i just saw these shorts they were 20 bucks og straight they're a size four they're a tiny bit loose for me but i know if i got a two they would be way too tight sacrifices were made when i was a teenager i definitely wore like extremely short low-rise denim shorts i look back now i'm like my whole ass cheek was out don't really really sweaty like my armpits feel like wet but these just feel really good quality and if you don't know old navy also owns like banana republic a quarter of the price of like levi's or abercrombie i went to garage i saved 20 percent on everything i bought the first thing i got was like this cargo skirt and it comes with a belt in it. I got this in an extra small and this one's $44 I believe or $45. I decided to pick up another one of their seamless tops. This one's like a deep plunge, adjustable straps in just this yellow color. Very cute. I got this in a small and I think it's $24 for these. I decided to get two halters from them so they have two different halter styles. If you have a bigger bust, the thicker strap one just looks so much better. Holds your girls in real tight and nice. First one I got was this like pink with like Hawaiian print. I got a size small. These are $24 as well. And then I got the same one, but in black, just because I thought you can't really go wrong with a black top. That is everything that I got. Where I can thrift, I will thrift. And where I can't, sometimes I will make up for it with alternatives that I can afford. While we were at the mall, there was actually this huge storm that happened. My parents were freaking out because my street at home is just completely torn up, like terrible condition. Basically a tornado. We got emergency warning from the government. I'll insert some pictures that my parents put in as well as a video of what my street ended up looking like which is insane what can you do i'm just really grateful that my family's okay and that like our house is okay it is five o'clock now i'm probably gonna lay down for like an hour and then i'm gonna have to get ready so this is what we're working with my hair is a little crazy but i haven't done my hair like this in a while i'm wearing the black top that i got today and then i'm wearing my baggy pants again aiden left quickly to buy some alcohol for us and pick up sam and then we're gonna head to nicole's and eat some pizza i don't know if i like this hair or not when I was in the change room at my garage, someone like fully walked into the change room when I was naked, butt ass naked, continued to stare at me for like 30 seconds and make eye contact with me through the mirror. And I just walked away, like didn't even close my fucking blind thing, my curtain. I'm gonna clean this stuff up before Aiden gets mad at me. I am waiting for Aiden and Sam to get back. They went to LCBO, like I said. I was Snapchatting my friends because I wanted to see how many pull-ups and chin-ups I could do. But then I was like, why don't I show you guys? So we're gonna attempt to do three pull up no we're gonna attempt to do three chin-ups and we're gonna attempt to do four pull-ups honestly i'd probably perform better if i was blackout drunk right now we're gonna do the pull-ups first because that's easier for me also if you see my underwear no you didn't I shit myself. Okay, I'm getting out of breath. I'm probably gonna be sweaty and smelly by the time I get to the party now because I've been doing this so many times. I can't do it. My back is too weak now. That's as much as I'm doing.
everyone. Look how nice Aiden is. He got me kombucha and a sandwich and some soup. Big ass soup. Anyways, I'm gonna eat now. I'm hungover. I haven't left. It's like 2.30 now. I'm crusty. It is currently like 6 o'clock. Aiden made me leave the bed because he wants to go to Patagonia because he really wants to buy the baggy shorts. My first time leaving the bed. I even ate in bed today. I literally look like a boy. Feeling poopy. Honestly, the older that I get, the worse my hangovers are. And I just don't want to eat anything. I don't want to do anything. But I do want to have some steak frites, which is what we're going to do later. That is like the most oh. random craving. I don't even ever really crave steak. Steak frites. Steak frites. We're just heading to the Patagonia. We also only have like eight minutes to get there. Aiden literally convinced me to come. I did not want to leave bed. And then I was like, hmm, he just wants me to come so I can sit in the car. <laughs> oh my anyway. God, there's traffic. It smells like poopy coffee breath. That's because I have poopy coffee breath. <laughs> <laughs> They were downstairs. All they had on the floor was larges and extra larges. So I was like, oh no. When I ran up, she was just locking the door. I know, I saw her. And I was like, I know exactly what I'm what I'm trying to get. Like, I'll be really fast. And she was like, all right, it's fine. Put all that for a black pair of shorts. Decided to not look like a piece of shit anymore. So I put up my greasy hair so no one can tell. And I put on a tiny bit of makeup since we're going out for dinner. We're going to a place called Jules Bistro. I didn't make a reservation though because it was one of those annoying restaurants where it was like, you have to put your credit card in. And it's not like I don't ever show up and then I get charged and that's why I'm pissed. But like, I just hate the fact that I have to put in my credit card information. We're gonna head over there now. I'm gonna bring the camcorder. I'm finally feeling a little bit better if you can't tell. It only took me like, 15 hours. Good morning, everybody. It's actually the afternoon. My hair is really greasy. I probably should wash it. I'm just too lazy, so I'm not gonna do it. Today is Monday. Aiden and I are gonna go to get some coffee, walk around. At four o'clock, Super Fresh is gonna open, which is like this Asian night market thing. And I really wanna go and try the food there, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna lay down. I have a slight headache. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I ended up watching Doctor Strange last night at theaters, just like super last minute. Even our dinner plans are super last minute. We didn't plan any of that. 10 out of 10 would recommend. If if you need a date night option or just like something quick and easy, so good. It was $25 for a plate of steak frites. Everything was so good. I didn't get a drink. I literally craved an ST the whole day. So I asked for an ST. That's so weird. Probably thought I was 12. I think we're gonna head out now. I'm gonna bring you guys on the camcorder. Hello everybody. Aiden and I have been home for quite some time now. We walked home. My friend texted me and said that they were at Trinity Bellwood. So we made a quick pit stop over at that park. And today we did so much walking. I didn't realize how much walking we did until we were on the streetcar going back south. And then we did go to a new vintage shop that I've been wanting to go to. I saw it on TikTok. I was laying down for a little bit as I do just because that solves all my life's issues. Aiden got a little bit hungry. So originally we were just trying to figure out what to get. Sent him off to Loblaws, but unfortunately Unfortunately, this Loblaws is literally closed every holiday. I wanted cheddar smokies, which is a really odd request, but I did want it. So Aiden's like, maybe I can make some Spanish rice. The grocery store did not have tomato juice, so we couldn't make that either. And then Aiden was like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna order sushi. I thought it was funny because I wanted sushi the entire time, but I didn't say anything because it seemed like he really wanted to cook. And he's like, you could have saved me so much time. He walked over there, even though we did so much walking today. I don't think we're gonna do anything else the rest of the night because tomorrow's a work day. As much as I would love this to be my job, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 19,507 steps today. On Saturday, I did 20,000. Other days of the week, I literally do like 2,000 steps. I'm still thinking about those steak frites. It was so good. If you guys come to Toronto, definitely check out Jules Bistro.